So we were actually high school sweethearts, and we started dating many, many years ago, it seems like. And it was always a dream of ours to build a house. We made an agreement. I got to pick the land. I got to pick the floor plan. The rest is me. <laughs> and Katie got to pick everything else. So we started looking at ideas for the house and kind of getting inspiration. We use a lot of Pinterest to help design the home. That was oh, kind wow. of our inspiration. I even had my own board of <laughs> what my must-haves were. Pinterest. And Katie had her must-haves. So right off the bat, my number one thing is I knew I wanted brick mudroom floors. That was my number one. Then everything kind of tied in from there. And then I found the board on Pinterest that had a backsplash. And I was like, well, right across the room, there's the fireplace. And then, of course, it was just supposed to be a short, based on the floor plan, yep. a short half wall fireplace. But with the vaulted ceiling, I was like, oh, just put it all the way up. We need more bricks. So it all just kind of tied in together and it just kept growing and growing. But also it just added a lot of character to the house. Katie wanted the brick mudroom floors. And so we were like, well, we're going to have brick on the outside because it gives you a nice breakup as far as the design of the modern farmhouse. It's got the high durability. I knew it was going to be here forever, which was important for me. The other thing, we had to make the brick match. We had a lot of questions. We knew we wanted brick. We didn't know how to use brick. So first step was definitely we went on the website. There was a lot of good images of actual houses being built. And we had picked our outside brick, um, but still in the back of our mind, we knew that Katie wanted the, the thin brick. Must have. And then we went to the showroom at General Shell. And I had never seen the pepper mill uh, brick that we ended up going with, but it matched the Spalding Tudor perfect. And so it just it tied it all together and it was kind of like a, a no-brainer. Let's go. Our brick mudroom floors are definitely something when people walk in the house, they stop. I mean, it. everybody talks about it. Everybody talks about it. So the key is definitely make sure that they're sealed properly. People think like, oh, wow, this is very luxury. When, I mean, it's a very practical thing that anybody else can do too. We went on a full journey um, and General Shell helped us because We've never built a house before. From the beginning, any questions that we had with General Shell, everybody was super helpful, even from the second that we called just to schedule an appointment to determine who do we need to talk to. Because at the beginning, when you're making those decisions, and kind of when you're building a house, you're kind of just thrown into a lot of things, like, hey, go pick out your brick. And you're like, okay, well, where do I go? Where do I start? So being able just to call and say, hey, I've got questions. What are the first steps? Through the process with General Shell, it started out as just a phone call but it actually ended up turning into being like a family. When people ask what style house we have, I always say it's a modern farmhouse, but I think more importantly, it's the Kiever farmhouse. And our house, I don't think, would feel like the Kiever farmhouse if it wasn't for the brick. Yeah.